And the second pipeline I'm going to show, and I'll go quickly with, with this one, is that this is a BigQuery processing pipeline. Um, I don't know about you, but when I started working from home and there were a lot of cases like COVID cases in London, and I was obsessively checking for the news every day. Um, at some point, like I decided, okay, after like a couple of weeks, I'm like, I'm not going to check news anymore because this is not productive. Um, so what I would do is that like every day around like five o'clock, I would just go to this website to look at some stats about the UK. And my parents, they, they also live in Cyprus. Um, and I would check the stats from Cyprus as well. But then once I check it, I would again start reading the news. Um, so I was still not being productive. Um, so what I did in this pipeline is kind of find a way to get the news without having to check it myself. Um, so I built a pipeline that would query the COVID-19 data for the countries that I care about. And it will send me an email notification every day around 5 p.m. with the data. So the, the way this works is that we have cloud scheduler um, that creates a job to, um, to basically call a service. And then this service will is called Query Runner. Um, and it's a Knative service that will basically go to BigQuery. Um, and BigQuery has many public data sets. And one of them is um, now called COVID-19 data set. So the, this service will go to this public data set and it will basically run a query and extract the COVID cases in the last 30 days or so uh, for the country that I specified, um, right? In this case, like UK, it will get the data and then it will save it to a temporary BigQuery table. And then once this is saved, uh, Query Runner will send a custom, custom cloud event that will be received by a chart creator. And chart creator, it's a Python app um, that will simply read this table and then use matplotlib to do a simple chart of cases in the country. And then once the chart is generated, it will save it to a charts bucket. Uh, it, it's a storage bucket um, on Google Cloud. And then this notifier service will re listen for um, um, notifications from this bucket. And when a an, when an chart is saved here, it will get a notification and then it will use SendGrid to send an email to the end user, in this case, me, right? So this is what I set up. Um, I guess um, we, won't, we don't have to go in too much detail, but a couple of things to mention is that I, I use Cloud Scheduler Source. Again, this is another event source on Kenyan Native GCP project to do this scheduling job setup that, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Then I use custom events to send a message from here to here. And then chat creator was uses my lip, even though I don't know Python that much, uh, it wasn't that difficult. Um, yeah, and then I use cloud storage source to get notifications here. And then SendGrid was really easy to use actually. I was pleasantly surprised. So I used SendGrid to send an email. So all the details are here, uh, how to set it up. But I just want to show you how it looks like in the end. So when this works, um, if I go back to my storage bucket, so let's go. So I have this charts bucket. You see that once the chart is created, you can see like chart Cyprus and chart, chart United Kingdom. So these are the charts that I created. You can see it says code cases United Kingdom. It just gives you some numbers. And then if everything is set up with um, SendGrid, you basically get, uh, let me see if I show you one of my things. So you basically get like an email like this that says a new chart from BigQuery pipeline. And then um, you get one for Cyprus and one for United Kingdom. So I get one 4 p.m. for Cyprus, one 5 p.m. for United Kingdom. And that's it. That's all my COVID-19 <laughs> news source nowadays, which helps me a lot in terms of staying sane and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, that's all I want to share today. Um, hopefully this was useful. And yeah, let me know uh, if you have any questions or any comments uh, about this. I also blogged about this on my blogs and we're gonna also do a summary blog on Knative blog, hopefully. So you can get to the source code and, and all the configuration and details there as well.